Hey everybody, we want to thank you for all the questions that came in. Uh, we were overwhelmed with so many awesome questions, some of which we haven't even thought of. So, great questions, but tonight we're going to try and answer a lot of those for you. Uh, the first question we have is from Ashley Jenkins, and uh, several people actually asked this, and she asked, is your house overflowing with baby accessories? Well, actually, yes, it is. We'll start right here with the swings. Two of the, the, the swings that we have right here, these are one of the girls' favorite toys. And we use these daily. Now we come over here and we go to the rock and plays. These we have fold up. They don't use as much right now, but these were critical in the first couple months of having them home. They pretty much lived out of these. They slept in them. We fed them from these. I mean, they were very critical. We love these. Next item, which we've used a lot, are the Mama Roos. And we actually have one of these upstairs that we use in the middle of the night as well. They love them so much. So we've got four of those. Now, let's come over here into the playroom. It's no longer a living room, it's a playroom. And as you can see, the girls have a plethora of toys out here as well. Indy's bouncing in her bouncer right now. She loves the bouncer. But her and Esme are just getting used to those. We just got these last week as they're starting to use their legs more. And if you come over here, obviously we have their pack and plays. We try and get the girls to do naps in here sometimes so that when we do travel and we're on the road, you know, they're comfortable with their pack and plays and, uh, you know, they sleep well in them. So, uh, and then we have the bumbles, of course, which, you know, are helpful when we're feeding them or they're watching some TV, little baby Einstein. Sometimes they'll just lay out here on their little minky blanket, though, and play with their toys and listen to music. But, yes, plethora of toys and baby accessories all over our house. <laughs> Okay, our next question comes from Jordan Thorpe, and they ask, are any of the girls strictly mama's girls or daddy's girls? That is absolutely right. We have two daddy's girls, we have two mama's girls. Uh, Evangeline and Scarlett are definitely daddy's girls. Uh, it's kind of ironic that they look exactly like daddy as well. So um, they do kind of tend to be a little bit more active and loud and social and, and that's definitely dad's forte. And so uh, they definitely gravitate towards me a little bit. Whereas Indy and Esme are a little bit more quiet and reserved and cute and shy. And they definitely love and light up when their mom walks into a room. <laughs> Hello girl. Hello, can you say hi to daddy? Can you say hi to the daddy? Yes, hello. Hello! Hi! <laughs> okay, the next question comes from Karen Lee Bundy, and she asks, You always seem so upbeat. How do you manage to keep your strength and energy up all the time? Well, one thing with having quadruplets is they demand that your energy is up all the time. They are constantly needing something, and so as a mom and a dad here, you just try and meet those needs. You're the parents, and you go, 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 go. And so sometimes, you find energy that you didn't even know that you had, and you're just on the move going. The other thing is, for Ashley and I, is we waited eight long years to have children, and they're finally here. And every day is a blessing and a joy for us to wake up and take care of these kids. I mean, when they wake up crying, we're excited to go get them, you know, because that's a sound that we didn't hear for eight years, and we wanted to hear for eight years. And so it is a joy and a privilege to have these children in our homes and honestly, we're just so grateful to God every single day that we wake up and get to see these kids. It's really easy to find the energy for us. Okay, we have another question here from Sharon Ann, and she asks, do all of them have blue eyes? Very good question. We thought they were all gonna have blue eyes for the longest time, and two of them are starting to go green now. So we have Indy and Esme who are going more green, and we have Scarlett and Evangeline who are definitely blue, just like their mama. We have a great question here from Ginger Kelly Hiller. This is one that several people actually asked, and it's referring to our uh, sleep. Do mom and dad get to sleep? Excellent question. Uh, it's been kind of sporadic since the girls have come home. Initially, when they came home, we got hardly no sleep. With four kids coming home, 
um, pretty close to the same time. Um, we were trying to get them all on the same schedule. That was hard. They didn't sleep very long shifts either. They were up every you know hour and a half to two hours looking for a bottle, looking for some sort of comfort. So in the beginning, the first couple of months, I mean, it was very difficult. We got to a point where we would switch off shifts. One of us would do the night shift, one of us would go to bed. And then one of us would sleep in the morning, one of us would be up with the kids in the morning. And so that was good for a little while as it allowed us to get, you know, at least three or four solid hours of sleep. Now we're moving towards the girls getting, you know, four, five, almost six hours in the middle of the night, if we're lucky. And so that's been great for us. And so it, it, we know that we're moving in the right direction and hopefully we're inching closer to having them sleep through the entire night and all of us can wake up rested and looking forward to all the activities of the next day. This question is a very common one that we get asked all the time when we go out on our blogs, on our messages. This one comes from uh, Baylin Bradford and she asks, is it true that you'll have a show on TLC? Yes, that is true. We're gonna be part of a series that follows uh, first time parents. So it's really cool. We're not the only couple that's on the show. There is four of us and they're following these first time parents. We all have different dynamics. And so it's gonna be really interesting to watch. Uh, the TLC has been with us since before the girls were born. They've been following us uh, since before Ashley went on bed rest in the hospital. So uh, all the way through the pregnancy and all the milestones the girls have hit since they've been home. So there's a lot of good stuff that they've been covering that's gonna be awesome to see come January. That's when the show will air, early January. It's gonna be called Baby Changes Everything, and it's gonna be on the TLC network. We're very excited for it.